Hello, I'm back for the second video. Now this is the part, there, there's a, the bridge, and it gets a little tricky in this part, uh, but if, I'll play it first and then I'll explain it later, okay? So we come back to this part. <laughs> And then when it, it just does that once, and then it moves the same exact thing, but you move it up a whole step to an E. So the whole part goes. So once again, I'll play it slow. same chording as the D part we learned, it just moves up a whole step. We just have to time it correctly when that happens. Then after it does that, we're up here in the E. We go down to the seventh fret, second position, which is an E. Then move down to the first position, which is a B. Repeat it. Then it moves up just a half a step. F, C. Then down to a, a, a D, which is the fifth fret, second position. B flat, sixth fret. Then G. Up to the A. So in the beginning, I'll play it kind of slow here first. We're starting on, on, on the D, D chord. Move up. to F, down to a C, then a D, we're on the sec second position, G, so what it does, it does that section twice. The first time she's singing a melody, and then it repeats it, starting on an E, um, and that's a synthesizer part. And we'll probably have to learn a guitar part too for that, but that's down the road. So let me take it right from that part. Um, when we modulate again, we're calling it modulation up to the E. So. E. So that part is very tricky. So we're going to have to just work on that. Uh, more than anything, you just have to listen to the song so much, you know, what's where these chord changes are. And then I think it'll come pretty easy to you. So that's it for that one. And then I'll make a third one with some guitar rhythm stuff that uh, should be in there. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.